Hello everyone, this is Rajender and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about OpenStack installation and my teammates are Akshat and Lokender. So basically OpenStack is an open source software which is a cloud computing platform. Uh, basically OpenStack is used as uh, infrastructure as a service where we can deploy virtual machines and servers. The requirement for OpenStack are first we need an operating system which is either Ubuntu or CentOS. The second requirement is a minimum of 8 GB RAM and the third requirement is solid state drive which is SSD. So now we can see these are the commands which we need to run on, on our local systems to install OpenStack. So the first command is sudo su hyphen which will help us to have the root user. Now we have the root privileges. So now we are going to run the all the other commands. First we need to upgrade all the packages that are currently available on our system. Now we are just going to kill the terminal or you can say we are going to reboot it. You can either do it by closing this window or you can just run the command sudo reboot. So here I'm going to stop the video and I'll just show you when it, it will be completed. So now you can see that the command has been completed. Now what we need to do is we just need to reboot our terminal. So we need to write. Now you can see that my system is reboot. So now we need to create a new user with the name stack. So I'm going to create a new user with the command sudo add user stack. So now my user has been created. Now we need to give this user all the root privileges. So we need to add this user in the admin group. So now we need to switch to the uh, our newly created user. So now our user has been created. Now we just need to go to the root and we need to switch to our new user. Now we need to cl uh, clone a git repository, but first we need to install git. So git has already been installed. Now we just need to create a repository. We are going to clone uh, this OpenStack dev stack repository. I can show you even here. OpenStack dev stack repository. So we are just going to clone this complete repository. So 
सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एंड एडिट लोकल डॉट कॉन फाइल नाउ वट वी नीड टू डू इज वी जस्ट नीड टू कॉपी ऑल दिस कमांड्स एंड वी नीड टू गिव द पासवर्ड टू ऑल दिस वेरिएबल्स सो हेयर आई एम जस्ट सेटिंग a common password for every service so my password is same as my username now if you want to get the host ip what you need to do is you just need to run hostname dot host name hyphen i command and it will give you ip before ip address to write for the host ip so i am going to i am just clearing this window terminal and i am going to run the command so you just need to copy this ip address and add in front of your host ip now you just need to save the file you can even check the data of the file with yeah the data is there so we just need to exit now what you need to do is you just need to run the shell script stack.sh now this is a really long script and it will going to take uh, almost an hour so if you get any kind of error you just need to run this below command force equals to yes and the file name stack.sh so now i am going to run this command and i am going to pause the uh, uh, terminal after that because it is going to take a lot lot of time so currently you can see we are not in the dev stack uh, idly where we should be so we can check where we are and we have done uh, one more mistake that we need to create this local.con file inside dev stack so now what we need to do is we need to move this local.con file into the dev stack folder so what we are going to do is mv to move this file local.conf to dev stack folder now we are just going to switch our current folder to dev stack and with ls we can check whether the file exists or not here you can see that local.conf file exists so now we need to run our stack.sh shell script now it is going to take almost an hour so i am going to pause the video and after that i'll continue about this file now you can see that we have encountered an error so what we are going to do is we are just going to run the below command force equals to yes and we are going to run this command now i'm going to pause the video and i'll meet you after an hour as you can see the process is going on so it will be installed in an hour after that you will see screen like this and there will be um, a login page where you can add your uh, username and password and then you can access openstack